the Ten Commandments were very specific. And every one of them could be interpreted in such a way that it says, you can't use a weapon like this. It's not about just thou shalt not kill. Honor your mother and father. I certainly don't support things that put um, life at risk. So I think about my child, I think about other children, and not just little children, but of us all being children. It's our duty to remove this abomination from the face of the earth. The many situations of inequality, poverty, and injustice are signs not only of a profound lack of fraternity, but also of the absence of a culture of solidarity. Without fraternity, it's impossible to build a just society and a solid and lasting peace. A lively awareness of our relatedness helps us to look upon and to treat each person as a true sister and brother. I make my own appeal of my predecessors for the non-proliferation of arms and for disarmament of all parties, beginning with nuclear and chemical weapons disarmament. Instead of building huge militaries and the modernization of nuclear weapons, give up the way of arms and go out and meet the other in dialogue, pardon, and reconciliation in order to rebuild justice, trust, and hope around you. The earth is sustainable. Maybe not the way we're living right now, but scientists can show us the way to that new world. We can't wait and expect world leaders to change unless there is pressure from below. We're not prophets of doom, but prophets of hope. Listen to the voices of those who are prophetic. Repentance, literally metanoia in Greek, is to rethink, to reimagine, not, get, not to get stuck in solid and old ways, but to repent, to think anew, to think creatively, to envision a world uh, of possibilities, a world without nuclear weapons, a world where our children will be safe, where we can provide for them good climate, good water, good air. We have been blessed with this human birth. We are all minuscule, part of that big soul. There is divinity in us. We become brothers and sisters. Anything created should be for the good of the humanity. We just don't have the permission the right, the major works of every religion on the face of this earth, there isn't one of them that says go out and kill as many people as you can. We're not weighing it with the best of what um, our people, our human beings bring to the conversation. Look at the countries where these decisions are being made. Uh, one group of people are, are making that decision. Russian patriarch said Russia needs nuclear weapons in order to continue to exist on a competitive level with the other superpower, which is us. That's to me is a unreconcilable opinion, but it's his, not mine. Security comes from love and compassion forever, interdependence. The sort of passion or the virility to, to have these weapons, we're better than that, we're more creative. I don't think we think big enough. There are other ways that we can solve our differences. We begin every one of our services with something called the litany of peace. In peace, let us pray to the Lord, and then for the peace of the whole world. It's a common sense issue. We can't invest the taxpayer dollars, billions of dollars, to update the nuclear weapons and expect that something different is going to happen. Tell them, stop this holocaust. I always ask question, do we really need this? There are many people who work hard, but they're not making ends meet. We cannot sit down. It does not absolutely make sense to me. All of us should be working for the human interest. If only it is possible to stop this mad, mad, thinking of creating more and more of nuclear weapons to destroy people. It will be a good day, bad day for us. If we are waiting for a messiah to come, he may not get here in time. So please, do whatever you can do. Zonas wants to build the Tibet as a demilitarized zone of peace. The stockpile of these awful weapons itself is something really is wasteful. So nobody wanted to use this weapon. At the same time, it's billions and billions of dollars spent to, to make these weapons. I think it's self something contradiction. And if we use this weapon, that also very awful. There will be no winner. 
Mother Teresa isn't a plastic icon stuck in the past. She was the toughest spiritual soldier. These weapons contradicted her life's service. She didn't discuss nuclear weapons. For her, it was all politics. But there was a good reason she took the time to travel to and bear witness in Nagasaki, saying repeatedly, We have forgotten that we belong to each other. How to bring people to love each other is much more important. Our great moral voice. For the survival of man, when I speak of love, I'm not speaking of some sentimental and weak response. I'm speaking of that force which all of the great religions have seen as the supreme unifying principle of life. In 2007, the Greek patriarch of Constantinople met with the Pope and uh, issued a statement calling for the decommissioning of nuclear weapons as being the only competent, moral, and courageous roles that leaders can take in the world today.